Coral reefs cover less than 1% of the ocean floor, but support more than a quarter of all the species known from the ocean. So when researchers published a paper this month with good news about corals and climate change, it made a lot of people sit up and take notice. I'm Dan Riskin. I say surprising because if there's been one constant in the field of climate change research, it's been dire news about coral reefs. In the lab, when you grow them in warm water, they die. Or when you make their water more acidic, they die. And with climate change making oceans more warm and more acidic, it's been pretty clear for a long time that coral reefs are in big trouble. In 2016, we saw some of those doomsday warnings come true when a single heat wave in Australia killed about a third of all the corals on the Great Barrier Reef. Well, a new study offers some hope. It was focused on a coral reef way out in the Pacific Ocean between Fiji and Hawaii called the Phoenix Islands Protected Area. That area, like Australia, has been seeing heat waves, but its response has been a bit of a surprise. The reef saw three heat waves over just 15 years. The first one killed about 75% of the corals, but then they started to recover. Then a second heat wave, as big as the first, caused very little death at all. And then a third wave, bigger than the first two, only killed about half as many corals as had died in the first heat wave. The researchers say we might be seeing adaptation by these coral reefs. This is the kind of news many people were hoping for, but we're not in the clear yet. Can reefs adapt to the even warmer heat waves yet to come? Will we see this kind of adaptation in other reefs around the world? And if we don't, can we figure out what makes the Phoenix Islands reef system special and apply that to other reefs? Climate change is still a daunting threat for corals and the species that rely on them, but at least now we have a little more hope. For ctvnews.ca, I'm Dan Riskin.